Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in again, 10 win streak, recording on the same day as the last episode, and we're playing as Mass Demo. Ooh, hoo hoo. Spicy bit of Mass Demo, I gotta love it. Ooh, I, do you know, every time I play this character, I forget what this character is. And, like, every time I come back to it, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, good stuff. So, we're already starting off with um, Scorpio, which is actually a pretty good item to get off the bat. Obviously, for the cost of two whole hearts, it's quite a lot. But this character starts with reasonably decent stats. Like, not great, but they're not bad by any means. So, I don't really mind it. This is kind of a crazy looking room here. Um... I don't really have a... Like, this This is the problem with recording more than one in a day. And at the minute, I'm recording a lot because... Um, or trying to record a lot because I want to try and build my backlog back up. Because obviously, with having COVID, I uh, I burned through quite a lot of my backlog. So I'm hoping to, to rejuvenate that a little bit by recording more than one Isaac episode a day. For, at least for the next few days. Um, and this is said first day of that. But the problem with that is the inspiration for Question of the Day... It's just, it's not, it's not as fresh in the mind, so. Let's, um, let's go with a bit of a, bit of a wacky one. What's your favourite art? Like, as in, like, what's your favourite median, uh, like, of art? Your favourite form of art, so to say. It's a pretty, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird way of wording it, I realise. Um, but, like, as in, like, in terms of, in terms of, or like, basically everything's art nowadays. Drawings, film, TV shows, everything. Games. Like, what sort of your favourite way in which art can be depicted? Would you prefer to see someone draw something? Or, like, someone making a video game? Or someone making a film? What's the, the your sort of pinnacle of what you consider to be the highest quality of art? I really do think that, um, at least... Generally, I wouldn't say that um, everywhere we're going to the beast, apparently. I wouldn't say that everywhere, but I think at least generally, video games don't really get enough of a rap for how how crazy they are artistically. I think I think a lot of people brush them off, and, and, and I, I mean people that, that don't sort of play video games or don't really get involved with video games and more so these types of people. Of course, those of us that do play them and watch them understand how crazy they are but um yeah I, I feel like a lot of a lot of traditional artists don't really see um oopsie 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 don't really see video games the same way that we do and sort of oh i really really meant to be holding the death card and i'm so upset at myself right now for not having it in this room because <laughs> this room is horrible um, I'm definitely gonna get hit here. These enemies are horrible. I might not actually. I might be okay, but the, these flies tick me off. It looks like we're mostly okay. Um, I think another one as well is is film. I think I think that I've I've gone to the point in life where, like I did actually want to go into into media at one point. If, for those of you that don't know, by the way, my girlfriend uh, she's a camera operator. She goes out and films like sporting events and stuff like that. She's, she's, like, won awards and stuff for it. She's really, 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 really good at it. Um, and um, I was going to go into that sort of life for myself. Do you know what? I'll take Poker Chip. I was going to go into that sort of that sort of life for myself originally. That's kind of... I, either that or editing. I was, I was really, really interested in when I was younger. And I still am. I still really enjoy editing and uh, videography and things like that. But I think that... In general, I've, I because I at one point had that sort of want, I've definitely got an eye for uh, for when when a piece of media, either TV or film, is like really really high quality. I feel like one of the one of the interesting things, and this is especially true for editing, that, that's kind of intriguing, is that you don't know when editing is good, but you do know when editing is bad, <laughs> like. It, like, when editing is good, you shouldn't notice it. It shouldn't be something that you even, that you, that you notice at all. It's like, when an actor is good, you know that actor's good. You can see that actor is good. But when editing is good, it just looks how it's supposed to look. It doesn't look wrong. So, yeah, it, 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 it's a very strange, very strange thing. And, and I, 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 
have you bet? Ooh, we'll definitely take that as well. Uh, I'd have I'd have a bet that uh, quite a lot of the um, quite a lot of editors out there. In fact, one of my friends is an editor. Uh, we'll say the same thing that it's 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 difficult to really put into words what is good editing because it's just it's meant to just be what looks right and what doesn't look bad. But that's not you can't really just say to someone, "Oh, can you edit this for me? Just make it not look bad." <laughs> that doesn't really track, does it? Car battery again. I keep forgetting that. Um, do you know what? I will take car battery if it affects my prayer card. That is, if it doesn't, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, then. This shouldn't kill me, right? Okay, thank God. Intriguing. Um, <laughs> well, then. Well, then. I just traded three black hearts for three red hearts. I don't really know what's more valuable, but I'm going to say three red hearts is probably a little more likely to be on the... to err on the side of good. Uh, but, yeah, I, 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 I think I've definitely gotten to the point where I've got a bit more of an eye for, like, cinematography and seeing when a, seeing when a film is artistically good as opposed to, like, when it's shit. <laughs> I don't know how, else, how, how better to say that, really. But you, you know what I'm trying to say. It's a bit of a funky question of the day. I realise that. But we're running on fumes here today, people. Also, another, another thing that I've kind of been wanting to do... Obviously, it's always nice when you guys ask me questions, so please feel free to ask me a question in the comments. But also, if you want to leave me, um, we should definitely take our angel deal here. If you guys want to leave me questions of the day to ask, gives you passive duplication. Okay, that doesn't really play for us, does it? Uh, I will play you. I don't think... That's actually quite nice, thank you. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think I'm going to grab the shield, I'll be honest. What we got here? Um, using a book gives you 20-20 for the current room. Uh, whatever, I guess I'll grab it. Actually, I'm more interested in poker chip, I'll be honest. Okay. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. Yeah, if you guys want to ask, like, give me a question to ask, like, if, if there's a question that, that you'd want to hear the answers of other people in the comment section from, I'd be definitely up for, uh, for asking that. I, I've even thought about maybe making a Discord channel on my Discord server for, uh, people to put forward questions of the days, because it's like, I, I, usually I can come up with a one on the spot, especially if I'm only recording one episode a day, but every now and again, every now and again, um, you don't quite have the same juices flowing. Ooh, hell yes. Right, will this give me... It does indeed give me a full heart. Good, good. Right, and then I can do this, right? Yeah. Do you know what? That's pretty good. I'll take that. I'm not going to use it much, but I'll take it. Yeah, it might, might be good to have uh, have something in the Discord where people can leave me different questions to ask. And I, 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 it doesn't mean I always use them, but it means I kind of have them as backup. This is a very strong run. Beggars have a 25% chance to respawn after being bombed, a uh, 5% chance to respawn after the final payout. That's cool, and it being gold is pretty good, but I don't really think it stands a chance against our Locust of War, which is just incredible. <laughs> Especially if you can manage to keep, like, more than one alive per room, and you can, like, save a few for the boss or, like, a, a harder room. Also, we are doing a lot of damage right now, even without our Locust of War. The poison is uh, is doing pretty good. I didn't expect it to be quite so pleasant, but it really is being tickety boo. Okay, not really all that worried about this room because nothing can shoot at me. I'll be I'll be checking out my shop regularly here as well because obviously it's going to cost HP. And with the members' access, we saw already that there's some pretty interesting stuff you can get there. The cell phone is so so. A tears up. It's good, but I think we I think we roll for something a little better. Okay, good. Okay, none of those are taking my fancy yet. I realize Anna Souls is very good, by the way. Wooden horn is definitely a good one. Slight damage up and a black heart. I do also think grabbing this is a good idea. Unfortunately, I was incorrect. It was not a good idea. Soul of Eden, however. 
I'll take a Soul of Eden. I will most certainly take a Soul of Eden. Of course, we might end up losing our burn heart here, but let's uh, not think about the possibility of that happening. Yep, there you go. I said don't think about it, people. One of you down there thought about it. Oh, oh, that might be the worst hit I've ever taken in a video game. I basically just walked into it. We've not seen our item room yet, so we have to go back. It's always a little bit of a shame when you accidentally skip all the way past your item room. Yeah, I don't really know if I want to be turning most of these red hearts into burn hearts, to be honest. They're a little more valuable, but not a ton more. I'd rather have my soul hearts protecting them for now. Hello, Bowen boys. Right. Red King is a fantastic item. We'll 100% take that. Red King, of course, means that every floor we're going to be able to fight an additional boss in order to get a red item. Now, that red item will most likely cost HP, which means we probably won't be able to afford anything this floor. But, still. I should still go and check. Okay, so we did actually manage to come into this fight with two um, war workers. As you can see, that did a good amount of damage there. Okay, good. Our character's looking pretty gnarly now as well. Well, like, just red face with the horn. <laughs> and the crown on one side. So, we get this. Of course, we're still going to have to pay for this no matter what it is, but we'll check it nonetheless. Monstrance is not worth it. Ooh, this is a, a rather hard room. Yep, that's mainly why... Oh, my lord. Wow. Okay, so they did say they made these red rooms harder. Because I, I suggested they make them harder. I actually um, told the developer I thought this item was way too strong and the fights were way too easy. Seems like they definitely listened and beefed them up a little bit. Uh, which is good. Definitely good. Calm down, little Steven. Oh, they are free. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Very happy about it. Bloody Lust for me, thank you. I don't know why there was a choice there, but Bloody Lust was kind of the way to go. We'll also grab these. Um, I think we just want the cracked key. Oh, unfortunately, I don't actually want any of these. That's a real shame, because I do kind of want them, but I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I, I can use them, okay. Wait, can I? Oh, no. I can't get back down in there. I can't get back down into there. Oh, wait. <laughs> Whoa. I can go underneath it. Weird. Anyhow, let's keep her moving. Let's keep her grooving. Let's keep her going. Uh, and we'll see if we can work this out. See what we can do. We shall see what we can do. But interestingly enough, yeah, it's not going to cost us HP to um, utilize our red crown, which is huge for us. Huge for us. Do you know what would be huge for us? Being able to find some battery charges. The poison's doing so much damage. Also, my voice... My voice cracked just a little bit there. We've also still got a holy mantle. This is kind of a good reason to go to the angel deal, right? Get to keep our holy mantle here. Purity is a fantastic item to get for free. And we got the fire rate bonus as well. It can't get much better than this. The fire rate bonus is by far the best one. Intriguing little run we've got going on here. Definitely happiest with our red king, or red crown, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure there's a br uh, like a brand of pubs in the UK called Red King. I, I don't know if that if it's actually called Red King or if that's just what it made me think of. Is it called Red King? I think it's called Red King. I swear I've been in a Red King pub before. My lord. But yeah, today, unfortunately, I just have to be dealing with uh, quite a lot of drama in my Discord, actually. There has been uh, a large amount of drama. I won't go into detail about who or what it is, but essentially, someone's mother joined the uh, joined the Discord server and accused some someone on my mod team of being a person that they had most certainly not. Um, and I, I have to say, it's it's difficult to know what's the truth. <laughs> I don't really know what to believe. It, there's this kind of, it's still ongoing at the minute. The issues are still kind of 
developing and still trying to figure out what the hell's going on. But it's been a, a rather intriguing day. Discord drama is always interesting. It's not always good, and it's not always enjoyable, but it's interesting. You can't deny that it's not interesting. Uh, ooh, Mutant Fetus, hell yes. Mutant Fetus is a very, very good item. Oh, I keep forgetting, I need to go into my shops because it costs HP. Uh, that's a lot of stuff, unfortunately nothing that I want there. And then here we have, okay. We have an Immortal Heart, we don't want to take that yet. Hmm. So Book of Virtues is of course quite good. The only problem with Book of Virtues, really, is that we don't have an active that works with it right now. I think for now I'm just going to take marbles and see what I get. Unfortunately, nothing great. And I'll just take the Immortal Heart and be on my way. Of course, the Immortal Hearts, if you don't know how they work, essentially they act as a Holy Mantle Heart. If we get hit once on the heart in this room, for example, in fact, I will show off an example of it. Get hit once. Wait, what? Tried to show an example, didn't work. Um, what was supposed to happen there is we get hit once and then when we finish the room, it regens back to a full heart. That didn't happen and I'm not sure why. I think I somehow got hit more than once, I, I don't know. Anyways, let's uh, bash out this. We luckily managed to get a decent aura here. We didn't completely lose out on the aura. So we got a damage aura going. Still, I prefer fire rate, but it's not bad. We'll get ourselves this. We'll go and fight our boss here. Yeah, so they definitely amped up the difficulty of the bosses by a uh, metric fuckton here, which is good. They really needed it. They were way too easy before. Before, they were just like, here's basically a normal boss fight. Now it's like, here. This is going to seriously mess you up. <laughs> and we'll definitely take that. Still, as you can see, very, very worth it. Very, very worth it indeed. Do try to remember we're going beast here. And when I say that, I'm completely and only talking to myself. Thank you, Locust. And we can pop that again. I love car battery. Car battery is so good. <laughs> it makes characters like this really broken. Now, I do wonder how Red King interacts with our Ascent. I imagine it interacts the, uh, interacts the way I think and we won't be able to enter them again. But there's a chance, there is a chance it lets us go to each floor's Red King thing and get another item, which would be awesome, but very strong. Good. Oh, I hate the, I hate it when these dudes just jump non-stop. Like, jump once. That's it. Forever. <laughs> we haven't managed to use our Soul of Eden yet, either. That's another thing we've had in our back pocket, just kind of waiting for the right opportunity. I don't really know what will be the right opportunity for it, to be honest, because we're getting like, Deal with the Devil items and Red uh, red Room items quite often. It's a horrible room, but thank God it's over. You can clearly tell that we're not really taking the fullest of advantage of, um, of all the deals, because we actually have quite a lot of HP right now, but I think... That's mostly in part to uh, getting the body and car battery early on. Yeah. Mutant Bomb is the best. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, we're going to get another heart here. Boom, bow. Into the shop we go. Oh, for God's sake. Should be illegal. We don't really need money for anything much, but beggars do appear from time to time. It's worth giving it a go. And luck decreases accuracy, luck up. I, I really just don't see the need for that. I mean, I suppose there's no better place than now to just use my Soul of Eden. And sibling rivalry is very, very good. I'll also take that for a... Okay, apparently I won't. I was going to try and take that, but apparently you can't. One moment. Okay, let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. Yeah, I love sibling rivalry. It's not It's not an amazing item. Uh, like, in terms of its strength, it's not crazy strong. I just think it's a very, very interesting familiar. I, th I think 
just the design space of it is very smart. It like visually it's really cool. It's got some interesting interactions. It's just a all round really really cool idea for an item with a really solid execution. In fact, out of all the things in Repentance Plus, I'd definitely say it's one of my top most sort of items. Because it's just, there's so many things about it I like. It's balanced. It's a, it's a familiar, which I always like familiars. Um, it's got two different forms. It's got creep. It's got tear shots, uh, teeth shots, sorry. All sorts of cool. Pop, we'll take pop. Pop's kind of an interesting one. I'll, uh, I'll do a double bomb on these as well, see if we get anything. Sadly not. Yeah, Pop's kind of interesting. I like the uh, the bomb tiers look with Pop. Woo, look at him go. Look at it turn. Okay. Mask of Infamy should get de destroyed by our bomb tiers here, but you never know. I also love the fact that Scorpio is making him into poison bombs too. That's real nice. There you go. Okay, booster pack isn't amazing for us here, but it could give us some interesting stuff like that. Holy shit. Wow. Um, we'll go back in here again. Holy light. Ooh, holy light's got a little resprite there. I really like that resprite. I've got, like I said, I've got a bunch of new resprites recently. And some of them are hella cool. Good. Okay. We... This is tough. This is genuinely very tough. Of course, Echo Chamber, I, I think, is far better. But it's so much less likely to be relevant. I, I genuinely think we take Eye of Eye, also Eye of Eye with a very good resprite, which is a very odd choice, but I just think it's far more likely to be relevant as we go on. Okay, make sure we get a full card next floor. Yeah, I think it's far more likely to be relevant as we go on here, and especially in the actual uh, fight with the beast. Especially with Pop. I think with, with, with Pop having uh, both Herming and... Um, yeah, having both herming and piercing is incredibly strong. Good. Crack that. We did get an item in here. Unfortunately, it's a pretty trash one. But yeah, being able to leave all of these on the screen like this with pop and then have them... Activate and start herming in on enemies is really nice. Also, that mob that clears the screen of tears once a room is cleared. God tier. <laughs> it's so good. So damn useful. Oh, we don't have any keys left. When did that happen? When did that happen? But yeah, enemies like this just gonna get destroyed. Even got another eternal heart there. Ow. Strength card. Don't really care too much about that, to be honest. Okay. Let's go for our shop here. Of course, we need keys first to make this work, but still. Temperance card. There's our key. Good. But yeah, situations like this. 100%. Eye of Isle is good. Another heart there. Oh, god damn it. Another one of these. Really? You're just going to get wrecked, sir. Restock is intriguing. Okay. It's a shame we don't have a battery charge for sale. Okay, so for now, let's go and see if we can make some more HP. Is this our secret room here? Yeah.
Okay. I kind of want that hyper buffed familiars thing, because it would. What the fuck? It would always hyper buff our uh, rival twins. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that was beautiful. Truly a beauty. Ghost Bombs is just there for free. Thank you, Mimic, for making that free. Okay. So, last chance to get some HP here if there's any in this room. Sadly not. I suppose we've got plenty of bombs. We should at least try and uh, crack open some of these. Sadly nothing. Okay. Pretty much all out now. Do we want to try trading away anymore? Now... Hmm. A question I have. Okay, okay. It does... I was like... If, it's, if it refreshes... As... The same as it was before. Wait a minute. I've got, I, I need to do some testing here. Because if we can get a bunch of burn hearts out of this. This is actually pretty incredible. Right, rivals. Can, can, can you stop for just a minute? Can you just chill out? Like, do I lose this full filled burn heart when I buy the next burn heart? Or does it just unfill it and give me a second burn heart? It just unfills it and gives me a second burn heart. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's so good. Okay, okay, okay. We do now need quite a lot of red hearts to refill though, unfortunately. We also haven't found our fool card yet, have we? I don't remember seeing that anywhere. Hmm. I should probably be looking for that, right? <laughs> okay, let's take a little look around. Is that it there? Nurse, Temperance. Okay, I got Golden Penny here. Dominic here. Full card there. There you go. Okay, we've got tons of flies on our side here, so you're going down. We take that. I think we can still go in here and be fine, right? Another pretty hard room. Luckily, we are stonked, so not too bad for us. Dead eye or dead eye? <laughs> I guess I'll take dead eye. And then I can full card out of here, right? Okay, cool. Yeah. Right now, I think we, I think we do go and grab the other item from the shop because we're not gonna have any shops left. So restock is not gonna be in effect for much longer. So we try and gleam as much from this as we can. Sacred protection's good. Job's family. Yeah, we'll take it. Cloak baby is good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pass, and we'll we'll leave it there. We'll skedaddle, skadoodle. We'll get out of here, and we'll see what we can make happen on the next few floors here. Where are we going again? Is it this way? Yeah. Okay, down we go. This has been a pretty intriguing run so far. I've 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 liked how this has all come together. So we want to be just making prayer card work here as much as possible. Don't know what's going on with this room, but I do not like it. I'm sorry, Selhart, but it is not your time. Ooh, that's quite a lot of bombs. Quite a lot of bombs. 
Okay. We should be able to get quite a few hearts from all of this. Ow, how did I get hit there? I don't really know what's going on right now. My babies were doing most of the work there. Okay, I didn't even I completely forgot we did have another shop, so excuse me for that. But we got some good stuff nonetheless. It's not like it was a waste. Right. I wonder how a battery charge would end up working with all of this. Got you. Ooh, this is a spicy little room. I like it. That's a great room. Right, so here, there's unfortunately a Diddy battery, not a full battery. It's kind of annoying. Um, oh, Sun Bond. Fuck yeah, I gotta carry Sun Bond. That's so good. Sun Bond, of course, gives all of our familiars our tier effects, which I feel is gonna be pretty good. <laughs> Something's telling me that that would be very, very good for us. Just considering what we're firing from our familiars right now. Okay, we're going to keep going through, and then we're going to come back for that battery charge over there. It'll be better once we've had a full charge here. Look at them go with that Cern Bond. So we pop that. Quickly check in here. While firing, charge up a swirl of fire. That sounds very cool. I've not had that before. Ooh, that is cool. And then we can go over here. Grab that. Pop it. Oh, lots of HP in there too. Very important for us right now. But yeah, we're going to be charging that up. I love the charge bar for that, by the way. Charge bar looks really good. Don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Should stop shooting, though. Should definitely stop shooting. Creating more problems for myself by shooting there. Why didn't you die? I shot right at you. How did you survive that long? Little grab. Ooh, I'll actually do this because I'm not going to use this active anymore. Yay, three random runes. <laughs> Yera, Algis, and Algis. I think Yera. Oh, wait, we've got a Degas there as well. I will take the Yera, though, just in case. I don't know what we'd use Yera for at this point, I'll be honest, but Yera seems like the best one. Makano. Ace of Diamonds. Right, get this charged ready. This isn't a boss fight. God damn, it's been a while since I fought the beast. I'm a bit out of sorts, to be honest. I'm a bit out of sorts. What do you mean it's gone? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then we just want to get as many charges as we possibly can here. So, realistically, go to every room we can. Oh, that was a good hit, sir. I'll give you that one. That was a good hit. So, yeah, we definitely want to go over to these rooms. I know it's not necessary to, obviously. But the amount of spice that we might be able to procure from these rooms. Is, is Evil Eye worth it? Maybe? <laughs> Probably not right, but maybe. I think maybe with Pop Pop it could be quite good. Okay, so this is open. Oh no. It's visually open, but I can't get down there. Stars. Pop that. Yeah, these fires are pretty cool. I'm liking this. They don't seem ridiculously strong either. They seem reasonably well balanced. Nice, nice. More of these double rooms is going to be better for us. Quicker charges and stuff. 
Click of charges is my gem. You have been taken out. And I think the beast should get relatively demolished here, right? I think you all are in agreement with that. <laughs> uh. Here's another question for you guys that are uh, that are here this late into the video. What's uh, what's been your like craziest vanilla Isaac run recently? Because I know a lot of you probably still play vanilla, even modded actually. What's been some of the crazy modded runs you've had? I'm sure some of you out there have had some really nutty ones. So I get quite a lot of nutty ones. I've got that whole YouTuber look shtick going for me, where I just get crazy runs because I do YouTube. But I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that are having equally as crazy runs that don't do YouTube. And it'd be nice to hear from you guys too. Okay. Yeah, the, the evil eye's doing good stuff actually. I quite like the evil eye setup. What the hell is he still alive? Okay. Got another three rooms here. I just love the way that the fire like spreads throughout the entire room. It does like a three. 360 degree around us. Makes it so good. And away you go, haunt. You have messed up here, haven't you, sir? Oh, I just realized as well we have ghost bombs now as well, so our mutant bombs are also going to fire ghost bombs, which is going to be even better against the beast. I was about to say, that was guaranteed to hit me, that one was. Not much I could do to get out of that one. There we go, prayer card again. I think now we're at the point where we can probably just, like, leave each floor whenever we want to, rather than sticking around for ages. Oh, you bastard. I said that, and then immediately the game screwed me over. Nice. Okay, doesn't matter. I said it screwed me over and it did that. Whoa, what the hell's the icon on the minimap doing there, look? Why is the cell heart icon a massive upside down cross? Let his light inside you. And then the hero font as well. Oh, this is just... Ah, oh, I should have Yerid them, really, shouldn't I? Oh, well. We've got our Yerid for something else later, I guess. Maybe a battery charge or something, I don't know. I've not got hard plans for it, I'll say that. Dingleberry. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. I still think Sun Bond is the, the way to go for this run. Sun Bond is so fun. The, uh, the super-powered familiars seem to be doing pretty well as well. Do not like these enemies at all. These guys are like the, the mega tanky ones as well. Oh, look, look how much of a beating this dude's taking. I don't even know where the other one is. That's another good thing about uh, this clearing tier, tiers clear on room clear thing. We know when the room's over, whether we hear the sound or not, because all of the tiers just immediately disappear. This room's got to be over now, right? Come on. What's taking so long? Okay, there you go. I think, yeah, I was going to say a teleporter's probably here. Up, 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 and away. And we're pretty much in the home stretch now, so let's just beeline it. I think we've probably got, like, two or three more rooms left here. Look at that. You're <laughs> getting demolished. That's beautiful. I could play out that and try and get some better stuff here, but I don't really think it's necessary. I think it's this room here, so let's go in here. It's not. Where, which room is it then? Okay, yeah, this dude's been tanky as ever. Is it this room? It's not. Where the hell am I going here? I'm not fighting you, dude. You can sod off if you think I'm doing that. Is it this one? What the hell? It's like the wrong, the wrongest I've ever been. It's got to be this room here then, right? Okay, it is. Cool. Right. Let's go. Let's fight up that wench. 
Killing an enemy as a chance to give you a blue wisp can be sold at a high price. I don't think that's true. Ooh, that's a good item. Extra fire, it's good stuff. Be nice to take over our aura into one that's actually good, though, the minute our aura is not the most desirable one in the world. What, did I just hit myself? My lord. There's a lot going on on screen right now. I'm trying to keep an eye on everything, but it's a little difficult. You do your brimstone. I think I can dodge this. Yeah, I got it. A lot of bombs being thrown out there. I can't remember what the key is now to clear the screen of tears. There we go. I got it. Okay. So I can actually force clear the screen of tears whenever I want just by clicking that button there. And it's genuinely a pretty good idea um, in fights like this. Of course, when the boss is flying across the screen directly into all of the tears, there's no point in doing it now. But... When the boss, when there's like a bunch of tears on screen that the boss is never going to touch and they're just all hanging out, like now, we can just clear them up. Anti-lag ourselves a little bit, it's really nice. It's a very, very good thing to have when you're using pop. <laughs> I'll say that for sure. Right. Bested. Beaten. Bequeathed. This should dominate these bosses, I think. Also, it looks awesome. This looks so cool. This is looking like a Starry Night sort of thing, isn't it? But this is the sort of one where we might as well just keep them all... Even though it's causing lag, we might as well just keep them all on screen. Because he's gonna run into them sooner or later. And then any of the bomb tiers are just going to annihilate. They're the sort of big gets, really, the bomb tiers. Because they instantly explode on him. And they're going to create ghosts and stuff. As you can see by the ghosts just piling up on him right now. I can also just drop in bombs every now and again here to create more ghosts. Because they're just going to drop into the lava and then swim straight up towards him. They don't do a ton of damage, I'll admit, but they're, they're pretty good. Stand back and let Evil Eye do its thing for a bit here. Oh, the moment it enters the screen, you're just fucked, aren't you? Well, I just want to say, I don't even know where that bomb you threw went. Okay. Well, you, you got bested pretty quick. This has been a, a, a surprisingly strong beast build. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is. Yeah, like, it's good. I knew it was going to be good, but goddamn. Also, Deadeye seems to, like, not deactivate ever. Not quite sure what that's about, but I like it. We're just, like, dropping him down into the lava right now. It's great. Get back in the lava, fool. down in it. <laughs> oh yeah, run away. <laughs> I love the little evil eyes every now and again just slinking off the side of the screen firing a bunch of tears. Evil eyes, one of those items that I remember first getting it when I like it first got added to the game. I think it was after the best plus. And just being like, whoa, this is so cool. And then it's like an item that is like so inconsequential it's crazy. So now this should be pretty heckin' easy. I haven't really been using my flame wheel all that much, but I don't really think it's all that necessary for us to do so this late in. But I gotta say, this is pretty much the home stretch here. This is gonna be super easy. Should throw a bunch of bombs at him, why not?
Look at all the ghosts. And I've still got bombs to drop as well. There you go, beastie boy. <laughs> My ghost army will destroy you. And there you go. What a cool little run we had there. Bit overpowered getting car battery on floor one, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.